Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, like just as an example, like your opening scene, you've got the, um, or maybe it's like the second scene where your friend comes home with a boy she met in a club or a guy she met in the club, and you guys like what? What does that look like? Just to give us some idea, a, a, a girl staying in your apartment brings a guy back to the club. You guys come out. You're trying to get some sleep. You start arguing with her. What is what does that look like on the page? Is it just the loose beats written out, um, and then you're improvising the dialogue? Yeah, so it's like uh, on the script, man, I think it says Catherine stumbles through the front door with Guy. His name was literally Guy in mm -hmm. the script. They start making out, and then Kane opens his bedroom door. They, they, they get into a fight. He's trying, to get, um, he's trying to get the guy and her to leave. They want to go to bed. They have to get up in the morning. Um, we, you, we're, we're take, we, we wrote what happens in the scene, but just not who says what and how it happens. So it wasn't like, you know, she walks up to him. He, he, it, it, it was quite loose like that. But it did take you through, from memory, the beginning, the middle, and the end of... We, we knew how each scene had to be resolved. We had the trajectory. Of each scene, yeah. So we yeah. were able to refer to that, and then we just go, okay. And we usually only have, like, one take. Right. Enough time for one or two takes max. So we just review the scriptment and go, all right, go for it. Yeah, and each each take was played a bit, bit differently. So it, 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 it became a film that really was found in, in the editing room as well, yeah. more, more than anything. Um, and that was going to be a question. It seems to me that one of the ways of making this work is being able to do 50 takes so you can continuously improvise and kind of yeah. let the scene go. Um, that it doesn't been sound nice. like you guys had that luxury. We had a week yeah, we to shot film the, the whole yeah. thing. Okay. I think it ended up being maybe eight days. Total, um, yeah. So, you know, yeah. So we, and we, we didn't even know who the camera should be on for any moment. So, I mean, um, we had long takes and yeah. then just did, I mean, Kane's a great editor, but just this sort of like jump cut style of editing. Our cameraman, Anton Dupree, who was fantastic, good, good friend of ours. The one thing he just would ask before each take is just who, who is the scene focused on? So if I've got all four of you or if I've got all three of you and you, you can't like, I don't know who to be on for what line, just in your mind, who is the scene about? And then I'll just focus on them. So he really brought a lot in terms of what we're seeing in any given scene. And then we yeah. had to just really cut around whatever that long take of his was. We really trusted him because yeah. he's just yeah. such a talented filmmaker. Well, he's a yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so we dodged a few bullets, I think. Thanks for checking out this clip from the Selling Your Screenplay podcast. If you'd like to hear the full interview, just go to sellingyourscreenplay.com slash podcasts. Or to go directly to the episode, just use the link in the show notes. Thanks for watching.